Rogue One A Star Wars Story hits theatres this December, so in an attempt to offer clarity, the Kangazans will guide you through each character's backstory, their possible involvement in the movie, fan theories and speculation, and quotes from the actor portraying them. If you plan on watching Rogue One without knowledge of any plot points or minor spoilers, then click off the video now. But if you don't mind jumping aboard the hype train, do stick around. Without any further ado, let's take a closer look at Rogue One's main protagonist, Jyn Erso. Look sir, droids. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Let me see your identification. We don't need to see his identification. Jim was born sometime prior to the outbreak of the Clone Wars to scientist Galen and Lyra Erso. During the conflict, Jen and her parents were captured by the Confederacy of Independent Systems. However, all three were rescued by Orson Krennic, an old friend of her father's and a member of Supreme Chancellor Palpatine's secret Death Star project. When separated from her parents at 15 years old, Jin developed a reckless and rebellious attitude. Incidents on her record included forgery of Imperial documents, possession of stolen property, aggravated assault and resisting arrest. Around two decades into the Galactic Empire's rule over the galaxy, Jin was detained by the Rebel Alliance. However, having intercepted a transmission from Galen Erso detailing a major Imperial weapons test, the Alliance gave Jin another chance. Rogue One's plot centres around the theft of the Death Star plans by a band of unlikely heroes. Due to her impetuous and defiant nature, Jyn Erso spearheads the operation as a sergeant, and spoiler alert if you haven't seen A New Hope, the mission is ultimately successful. However, the ins and outs of the operation, of course, remain unclear, which has summoned waves of speculation from the Star Wars community. The plot of Rogue One may sound like a suicide mission, but most fans speculate Jin will live to fight another day. Firstly, many theorise that Erso's actually the mother of Rey. Not only do both actresses share the common look for females in the Skywalker bloodline, but Daisy Ridley and Felicity Jones' British accents carry over to the big screen, which is very uncommon for Brits in the sci-fi series. Secondly, Jin may well morph into Captain Phasma. After all, from the clips we've seen from Rogue One so far, there's definitely an air of treachery surrounding the character, as if she'll turn her back on the Rebel Alliance to join the Galactic Empire. Thirdly, sticking with the possibility that Ursa will go rogue, some speculate she'll be the rogue member of the Knights of Ren. However, all the aforementioned theories share the same downfall, age. If we assume Jin is in her late 20s or early 30s during the time frame of Rogue One, as the events of The Force Awakens take place, she would be around 65 if not older, which is sketchy at best. However, there's one fan theory which does make a lot of sense. Before Luke Skywalker could exploit a tiny exhaust port on the Death Star, he had to evade three TIE fighters, including Darth Vader's very own. Thankfully, Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon appeared just in time to eliminate one of the enemy vessels. Letting the remaining TIE fighter pilot for some unknown reason clipped Vader's ship, sending him spiralling out of control deep into the vacuum of space. But what if the clumsy pilot turned out to be Jin? After all, we have seen her approach a TIE fighter and done what looks to be TIE fighter pilot gear. So perhaps after the daring mission to retrieve the Death Star plans, Erso remained undercover to ensure the battle station was destroyed. It's at least something to think about. Speculation and theories aside, what we do know for certain is that Jen will be an unlikely hero, as confirmed by Felicity Jones. She is absolutely a very unlikely heroine. She's someone on the edges and fringes of society. Physically, she's smaller than everyone else around her, but when someone has something they believe in, that's what powers them, that's what motivates them, that's what can give someone enormous strength. With that being said, expect Jen to be a strong and unlikely hero we can all root for even if cracks start to show. So what do you expect from Jyn Erso in Rogue One? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to leave your suggestions for what characters I should cover in the future. Thanks for watching and for more Star Wars related content keep a look to you here. To the King's Hands! Not only are there also five members, but the similarities between each character and the Knights of Ren are remarkable. The Sniper and Cassian Andor hold their weapons in the exact same manner. 
the armory and Bodai rig both wear goggles and carry many small items on their chest. Lehevi and Bay's Malbus have very specific armour that covers one shoulder, and the rogue may well be Jim Erso. After all, she is the protagonist going rogue, the one to infiltrate the Galactic Empire for the Rebel Alliance. So it's only fitting that the Rogue One is the Rogue.